Daroda has asked a very important question that if Islam is a religion of peace, why does it preach about jihad that is fighting and killing the kafir? In fact, Hinduism is a religion of peace. There's a great misconception as far as jihad in Islam is concerned. This misconception is not only among the non Muslims, it's even among the Muslim. They think that any war fought by any Muslim for any reason, whether it be for personal gain, whether it be for fame, whether it be for money, any war fought by any Muslim is jihad. Jihad does not mean any war fought by any Muslim. Jihad comes from the Arabic word jihada, which means to strive, which means to struggle. In Islamic context, it means to strive against one's own evil inclination. It also means to strive to make the society better. It also means to strive in the battlefield in self-defense. It also means to fight against tyrant and oppression. Jihad basically means to strive, it means to struggle. And very often the critics of Islam, even the Hindu critics, even Arun Shuri, he writes in his book, The World of Fatwa, and he quotes Surah Tawba, chapter number 9, verse number 5, and it says that the Quran mentions, wherever you find a kafir, in two bracket Hindus, wherever you find a kafir, you kill them. And if you open the Quran, and if you read in this Quran, chapter number 9, verse number 5, it does say that wherever you find a kafir, you kill him. But it is a quotation out of context. For the context, read a few verses previous. The first few verses of Surah Tawbah speaks about a peace treaty between the Muslims and the Mushriks of Makkah. This peace treaty was unilaterally broken by the Mushriks of Makkah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the time he reaches verse number 5, he gives the ultimatum to the enemies, to the Mushriks of Makkah. You put things straight, in four months time, otherwise the declaration of war. And in the battlefield, Allah says to the Muslims, wherever you find the enemies, wherever you find the kafir, you kill them. This verse of the Quran is talking about the battlefield. When the Muslims are fighting for truth, against falsehood, against the enemy, if they come to attack you, don't get scared, kill them. Any army general to boost up the morale of the soldiers will say that kill the enemies. He will not say that let the enemies go. So Quran speaks the same. And Arun Shuri after verse number 5 of Surah Toba jumps to verse number 7. Any intelligent person knows that verse number 6 has the reply to his allegation. Verse number 6 says that if the enemies, if the mushriks want asylum, don't just let them go. Escort them to a place of security so that they will hear the word of Almighty God. The most generous army general today will say that let the enemy go. Which army general today will say that escort the enemy to security? That is what the Quran says. And there's another misconception in Islam that jihad means holy war. Holy war in Arabic is Harbu Muqaddasa. Nowhere in the Quran is Harbu Muqaddasa mentioned, nowhere it's mentioned in the Hadith. Holy war is not the translation of jihad. This holy war was first used to describe the crusaders, the Christian crusaders who conquered many lands and killed thousands of people in the name of Christianity. Now today they use this holy war for Muslims, which is totally wrong. And unfortunately, many Muslim scholars in inverted commerce, even they use holy war as a translation from jihad, which is totally wrong.